Welcome to another Friday class on Bioholic with me your educator Olivia. We are now learning the chapter plant hormones and this is the fourth class on the plant hormones. We have already studied about the auxin and gibberellin hormones and today I will describe the cytokinin hormones and its role in plant growth and development. Watch this video till the end because after the class you have to appear in the self assessment test and also you have to get a good marks in that test no so don't skip any slides and don't miss a single part of today's class so let's begin <laughs> As an introduction, we can say that cytokinins are a class of phytohormones or plant hormones that promote cell division or cytokinesis as its main function is to promote the cytokinesis, hence it is known as cytokinin. It is important for the cytokinesis in the plant roots and shoots both. I think you already well known about the cytokinesis. Yes, the cytokinesis is the division of cell cytoplasm. And in case of plant cell, there a cell plate is formed and thus one cell can be splitted into two cells. Thus cell division occurs. So the cytokinins are involved primarily in cell growth and differentiation but they are also important for their effects on the apical dominance, axillary bud growth and also in leaf senescence. And these hormones mostly found in all the complex plants, bacteria, mosses and fungi. And there are about 200 different types of synthetic and natural cytokinins and most of them are usually developed in the midstem of the roots and they are slightly basic in nature. Now let's have a look in the historical background of cytokinin discovery. Skook and his co-workers found that callus from intermodal segments of tobacco proliferate only when in addition to auxin. The nutrient medium is provided with extract of yeast, vascular tissues, coconut milk or DNA. And they were analyzed to find out growth promoting chemical and the first cytokinin was discovered from degraded autoclaved herring sperm DNA by Müller in 1955. It is called as kinetin that is 6 furfuryl amino purine. But kinetin does not occur naturally. It is a synthetic hormone and the first natural cytokinin was obtained from unripe maize grains or kernels by Latham in 1964. It is known as geatin that is 6 hydroxy 3 methyl trans 2 butanyl amino purine. Okay? This is the structure of trans geatin. Roots seem to be the major source of cytokinin synthesis. From roots, the cytokinin pass upwardly through xylem. And some cytokinin synthesis also takes place in other areas where cell divisions are occurring like endosperm, region of seeds, growing embryos and developing seeds, young fluids, developing shoots, birds, etc. And coconut milk is a rich source of cytokinin. Now how the cytokinins are synthesized? Adenosine phosphate isopentanyl transferase or IPT catalyzes the first reaction in the biosynthesis of isoprene cytokinins. It may use ATP, ADP or AMP as substrates and may use DMAPP or dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate or hydroxymethyl butanyl pyrophosphate or HMBPP as prenyl donors. This reaction is the rate limiting step of cytokinin biosynthesis and the DMADP and HMBDP is used in cytokinin biosynthesis are produced by the methyl erythritol phosphate pathway or MAP pathway. 
and cytokinins can also be produced by recycled tRNAs in plants and also in bacteria. And auxin is known to regulate the biosynthesis of cytokinin. Now how the cytokinins acts? What is the mechanism of action of cytokinins? Actually the cytokinins act in concert with auxin. The two are complementary having generally opposing effects. The ratio of auxin to cytokinin plays an important role in the effect of cytokinin on plant growth. Cytokinin alone has no effect on parenchyma cells. When cultured with auxin but no cytokinin, they grow large but do not divide. And when cytokinin is added, the cells expand and also they differentiate. And when cytokinin and auxin are present in equal levels, the parenchyma cells form an undifferentiated callus. More cytokinin induces growth of shoot buds while more auxin induces root formation. So here you can visualize the mechanism of action of cytokinins in, in an animated way. So first of all cytokinin binds to its receptor, the histidine kinase receptor that consists of histidine kinase domain and a receiver domain. So binding of cytokinin causes autophosphorylation in the histidine kinase domain. And later this phosphate is transferred to the receiver domain. Now the phosphate from receiver domain is transferred to the AHP and after binding to AHP it easily can enter the nucleus from the cytosol and here in the nucleus then phosphorylates the type B response regulator. So now there is an alteration in transcription and ultimately cellular changes occur. Thus cytokinin triggers a signal transduction mechanism for its action. Clear? So here the process is described once again that cytokinin signaling in plants is mediated by a two component phosphorylase. This pathway is initiated by cytokinin binding to a histidine kinase receptor in the endoplasmic reticulum membrane. This results in the autophosphorylation of the receptor and then phosphate moves from the kinase domain to the receiver domain. And as I said that then phosphate moves on to AHP that moves from cytoplasm into nucleus and later it phosphorylate type B response regulators which are the family of transcription factors. The phosphorylated and thus activated type B response regulators thus regulate the transcription of numerous genes including the type A response regulators and thus cytokinin action is mediated. Now moving to the types of cytokinins. Cytokinins are mainly of two types, the adenine type cytokinins, for example the kinetin, zeatin, 6-benzyl aminopurine and the second one is the phenyluria type cytokinin, for example the diphenyluria and thiazurone. The adenine type cytokinin is found mostly in the roots and interestingly no plants can produce the phenylurea type cytokinins. So all the phenylurea type cytokinins are synthetically produced. Now the most important part for exam purpose that is the physiological functions of cytokinins. Cytokinins obviously important and essential for the cytokinesis though chromosome doubling can occur in their absence. In the presence of auxin, cytokinins bring about division even in permanent cells. Cell division in callus is found to require both the hormones, the auxin and cytokinins. Second is the cell elongation like auxin and gibberellin, cytokinins also causes cell elongation. Third one is the morphogenesis. Both auxin and cytokinins are essential for morphogenesis or differentiation of tissues and organs. Buds develop when cytokinins are in excess while roots are formed when their ratios are reversed. Fourth is the differentiation. Cytokinins induce formation of new leaves, chloroplasts in leaf, lateral shoot formation and adventitious shoot formation. They also bring about lignification and differentiation of interfascicular cambium. Fifth one is the delayed senescence. 
that is also known as Richmond Lang effect. According to this effect, cytokinins delay the senescence of leaves and other organs by mobilization of nutrients. Presence of cytokinins in an area causes preferential movement of nutrients towards it. When applied to lateral buds, they help in their growth despite the presence of apical bud. They thus act antagonistically to auxin which promotes apical dominance. Next is the seed dormancy. Like gibberellins, they overcome seed dormancy of various types including red light requirement of lettuce and tobacco seeds. Next is the resistance. Cytokinins increase resistance to high or low temperature and also diseases. And yes, cytokinins are also important as they help in phloem transport. And cytokinins are also important as Cytokinins, especially the kinetin, induce accumulation of salts inside the cells. Cytokinins are also important for flowering. They can replace photoperiodic requirement of flowering in certain cases. And like auxins and ethylene, cytokinins promote femaleness in flowers. And in 1965, Crane has reported induction of parthenocarpy through cytokinin treatment. Like other plant hormones, cytokinins has also many practical applications like tissue culture. Cytokinins are essential for tissue culture because besides cell division, they are also involved in morphogenesis. Instead of direct addition of cytokinins, the latter may be provided to tissue culture through the addition of coconut milk or yeast extract. And the application of cytokinins to marketed vegetables can keep them fresh for several days. So the shelf life of cut shoots and flowers is prolonged by employing the hormones. Cytokinins application is also very much helpful to plants in developing resistance to pathogens and extremes of temperature. And as we know that cytokinins delay the senescence, so it is used for overcoming senescence of intact plant parts. Now the fun fact about cytokinin. Experiments demonstrate that cytokinins can protect even animal cells against various forms of stress and prevent some detrimental effects of cell aging. For example, human skin fibroblasts cultured in the presence of kinetin or transiatin retain some characteristics of cells of lower passage and kinetin is even able to increase the lifespan of invertebrates. Isn't it interesting? This is all about the cytokinin and now it's time for the self-assessment test. You can check the description box for the link. And if you have any queries or any questions, you can ask me through the comment section or you can also mail us. Our mail ID is provided in the description box. And also I have shared a link of short answer type questions based on the cytokinase and its role in plant growth and development. You can also check that for your better preparation. Next Friday, I'm coming with the fifth class on the plant hormones. And that class will be totally based on the hormone ethylene. So if you are new here, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. And also if this video is helpful, give it a big thumbs up and share with your classmates. And don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the future notifications at the earliest. So see you in the next Friday. Keep watching. Bye Holly.